Well, Christmas is just days away, but soon after, lots of folks will be starting their New Year's resolutions. Hmm? No? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you'll make some? I'll make yeah. Maybe. And most will probably break them, but we've got an expert here to help. Best-selling author and achievement expert Clint Arthur has a book called The Last Year of Your Life, and he says in order to keep your New Year's resolutions, you have to make them big enough and inspirational. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. This is all about the power of words. As one of my mentors used to say, we speak our lives into existence. And most people fail at their New Year's resolutions because they're not crafting them with their words properly. So we just say the wrong thing. We should right. Say like the most, the most commonly broken New Year's resolutions, according to Time Magazine, are lose weight, quit smoking, learn something new, eat healthier and get out of debt and save money. Those, those are, are all, all mine, yeah. Those, those are all are great mine things. Too. Those are all great things, but <laughs> they're not inspiring you to keep the resolution. So let's restate a couple of them okay. so that it'll be more effective okay. for you. Instead of uh, lose weight, how about saying achieve a bikini body so I can show off my stuff on the beaches of Hawaii in October. That's what he, that's perfect for you. Yeah. It's much more <laughs> inspirational. <laughs> and it'll keep you in the head. gym in February and March Otherwise, you might not go. But yeah. that makes sense because it's very, very specific. Exactly. Right? And that's why I stopped making them because I. And it's got a payoff for you. You right. want to go to the beach. Yeah, you can see the goal there. Instead of quitting smoking, which okay. is totally negative, become a person who doesn't reek of tobacco and smoker's bad breath so I can meet and marry my soulmate. Huh. Isn't that much more fun? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And instead of uh, learn something new, I would say learn how to cook an amazing new meal so I can wow my friends and demonstrate self-love with the amazing food that I feed my body. Much more inspirational for yeah. you. So it's all about taking whatever your resolution is, but making it specific to something. So yeah. it will come true. Awesome, and exactly. You have this formula that you call alive. There right. are several steps in there. It starts with A, awareness. Awareness that you may not have been fully expressing yourself as a person or achieving everything that you want because right. awareness is the first step to fixing a problem. Right. L is letting go of the past. You've probably wasted a lot of time not fully engaged in your life. Don't beat yourself up over it, just let it go. I inspire yourself with goals and dreams that are gonna get you excited to get into the day every day. V, visualize how to make your dreams become reality. You have to have a plan. That plan begins with visualization and then E, energize yourself with three-dimensional energy. The first is physical energy that comes from exercise, good food, and getting rest. The second part is um, intellectual energy, and that comes from surrounding yourself with people who are gonna encourage you. Instead of saying, oh, you're just a dreamer, you're never gonna make it happen, you want people who are gonna say, yeah, you can do it, yeah. go for it. And the third dimension is inspirational energy, that's spiritual energy. And that comes from listening to great speeches like Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream, or great quotes, like my favorite quote from General George S. Patton, accept the challenges so that you can feel the exhilaration of victory. Ooh. I like it. Yeah. So, you know, you consult with so many people and you've helped so many people along the way. It's been a tough year for a lot of people. What would you say is one of the first things you can do to just revitalize yourself to get into that positive spirit so you even have that energy to make those resolutions? Exactly. To make a plan that's going to get you excited for the next year to outline your goals, not, not waiting until you're in January to look around. Get started right now. Take a look at your life and say, what are some of the things that I have always wanted to do? Okay. And this is the year to make it happen. Because you know tomorrow is the first day of the last year of the Mayan calendar. Who knows, maybe the Mayans are right. <laughs> it, it could be a new age or it could be the end of the world, I don't know. But I do know that if you live as if this is going to be the last year of your life, you are gonna look at everything in a much more empowered and positive way because you'll say, oh, I have this deadline. I've gotta make it happen this year. Now you wrote this book a couple of years ago, but now we are coming up in the last year. So if they are right, this is the last year of our <laughs> life. Well, <laughs> either way, it's gonna be good because if you use this artificial deadline of December 21st, 2012, the last day of the Mayan calendar as your deadline, man, you can accomplish anything, really. And probably the most important thing, again, is just starting to get that renewed energy and get excited about, like, what's ahead instead of saying, oh, I can't do that, or surrounding yourself with people who can't. Yeah. I, I, in fact, I'm giving a, a free seminar for people, for, for listeners and viewers of this program. There'll be a free seminar that they can find out more about at thelastyearofyourlife.com. There's a 
thing that says free coaching at the top, and I'd be happy to help them all with it. Free's always right. good. Well, Clint Arthur's international bestseller is called The Last Year of Your Life. 